The surface of the common Velcro cable label on the market is a kind of fabric. As you can see, it is easy to get feather when writing on them, with a permanent marker or a gel pen. If the content contains multiple letters or words, the feather effect can make it difficult to read. However, if using a ballpoint pen it is not super visible from a distance. For the upgraded label, even if there are more letters and the handwriting is small, it is still clearly legible. Compared with the one writing with ball pen, the writing is legible from a distance. Let's test the writing effect of three common pens on this label. The writing of ball pen is not highly visible. The ink of gel pen won't dry out in a short time. The ink of permanent marker and ball pen stays well and can't be removed. The ink of gel pen can easily be wiped off. Here we use a permanent adhesive label for test. The label won't stick tightly to the Velcro tag. If the Velcro tag is bent during application, the edge of the label will lift, which may cause the label to lose its stickiness and fall off after a period of time. If you don't move the Velcro after attaching the label, the label will last longer. Use these to label all your cords at the power strip from larger laptop charger and HDMI cable to the much slenderer phone charger. Please notice that unlike the adhesive stickers, which can always stick in a fixed position, Velcro will move. If the cable is thick, it will move if you pull it. For slender cables, the Velcro tag may slide around on the cable as the cable moves. Due to its length this tag is more suitable to use as an identification tag, but if you intend to use them as cable collector, please pay attention to the thickness of your cable. For example, using them to collect coiled laptop, charging cable is almost impossible as the coiled cables are too thick for this tag. However, there is no problem with the HDMI cable, which is coiled in three circles.
As for slender cords such as iPhone chargers or headphones cords, there is no problem at all.